Julio in four plus tonight, what was your biggest takeaway from this outing? Julio in four entradas, ¿qué sacaste de esta entrada, de esta salida? Bueno, este, igual no. Estuve batallando un poquito, pero pues de bueno te podría decir que que el primer picho de strike con ciertos bateadores sí estuve atacando, pero pues me quedé corto igual con esta salida. I, can say, I struggled a lot, uh, but if you can say that something good came out of it was that I was able to get a first pitch strike with a couple batters, I would fell short in this outing. What do you want to take away from this one into the next one? You had mentioned uh, pitch strikes to a couple of the batters. What else would you like to improve upon for the next outing? ¿Qué quisieras mejorar para el siguiente juego? Dijiste que querías tirar más strike. ¿Qué es lo que quisieras ver para la próxima salida? No, igual, salir, salir a atacar, no, salir a atacar y, y ejecutar los picheos, este, eh, seguir el plan que tenemos y, y pues esperar el día de mañana para trabajar, no, ya con mi rutina. I think attack, uh, execute the pitchers and follow the game plan and I'm just waiting for tomorrow so I can start my routine again. What made the Evan Longoria and Brandon Belt at bats so difficult for you tonight in the first and the third. ¿Qué fue de los turnos de Longoria y Belt que lo hizo tan complicado para ti? Bueno, con Belt, este fallé, no fallé, se podría decir la localización y y pues pagué el precio. No son bateadores que que pues son veteranos y y obviamente tienen bastante carrera, no. Entonces yo pienso que que cuando Fallas, pagas el precio. With Belt, I missed my spot and I paid the price. They're veteran hitters, and when you make mistakes, you pay the price. Thank you, Julio. Um, next question is from Mike Castillo. Julio, um, te lo voy a decir, te lo voy a preguntar en inglés para, para ser más fácil para la gente aquí. Um, what do you think, uh, you know, Dave Roberts earlier today mentioned that you were working on your delivery over the last week or so between starts. Um, what were you working on and were you able to execute on that? Dijo Dave Roberts antes del juego que estabas trabajando en tu mecánica con tus movimientos at home. ¿Qué es lo que estabas trabajando y pudiste trabajar o pudiste utilizar eso en la salida de hoy? No, el ser más consistente con mi mecánica, el ser más consistente de, sobre todo de frente, ¿no? Que he estado batallando un poco, pero, pero igual estoy, fui, sentí que fue un poquito más, este, a pesar del resultado, un poco más consistente, este, Y pues nada, seguir trabajando, seguir trabajando, que es lo que, que, es lo que nos toca, ¿no? Uh, just trying to be more consistent, especially with the wind-up. I thought it was better in this outing, but I have to be better, more consistent, and keep working. You mentioned the wind-up. Um, last year, you pitched out of the stretch exclusively. Um, is that an option for you, going just going back to the stretch full-time? Eh, mencionaste lanzar de frente. El año pasado, casi todo lo lanzaste de lado. Es una opción para ti lanzar de lado para las mm. siguientes salidas. Bueno, eso ya sería platicar no con, con los coches, pero la verdad me sentí muy cómodo hoy, me sentí muy cómodo hoy con de frente y, y pues a seguir trabajando, seguir trabajando que es lo que nos queda y, y pues tengo hoy que sí toda la ayuda de, de los coches de picheo y pues a trabajar con ellos que, que me he sentido muy bien con ellos. La verdad. It's something that I would have to talk with the coaches, but to be honest, I felt a little more comfortable working from the stretch and it's just a matter of going out there working more and I've had a lot of help from the pitching coaches and I felt really comfortable with them.
just in there in the last couple of innings, did it feel a little bit like um, a, a game of Frogger trying to uh, maneuver your way around the bases? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, a lot of weird stuff happened tonight. Um, obviously, I think Joey Bart got crossed up on a pitch, uh, advanced in the third, and then throws it in the left. And then uh, pretty funky single there in the 11th. Probably the greatest hit in the history of MLB. Um, a little number running down the line. He falls down, avoid him. Uh, but yeah, it's, this extra inning stuff's kind of wild. I wanted to get your opinion on that. It's, it seems like one run's never enough. It almost seems like you have to score two runs despite the fact you get a man to start the inning on second base. I mean, what's your opinion of it so far that now you've had a couple of games in which you've had to deal with it? Yeah, so I mean, even a one run lead like you see uh, tonight, um, you know, a, a score, you can score a run without getting a hit. So um, definitely puts a lot of pressure on the on the defense and, and the pitching staff. But, um, you know, we just uh, couldn't couldn't shut them down. How difficult is it when you have the lead four times in a game and you seem to not be able to put it away? Seemingly, you think you have the lead like that and, and it's almost a foregone conclusion it didn't work out that way tonight. Yeah, you know, our bullpen's been great all year. So um, I'll bet on those guys every night. Um, we just weren't able to, to shut the door tonight. Thanks, Justin. Next question is from JP Martin. Uh, I wanted to take it back to, I guess, the 10th inning. There was that ground ball. Uh, I think Duggar hit it to Corey. Were you expecting to get the throw there um, with the runner going from second to third? Uh, yeah, I was there, but what happened was uh, Joey kind of blocked out Seeger, so he didn't really see the ball until the last minute, and uh, he wasn't really in a position to be able to turn and make the throw to third, so he just took the out, and, um, you know, Scotty did his job. He got another ground ball. It's just a soft hit down the, down the line that, um, you know, was well-placed, so uh, I think – Nine out of ten times, Corey's going to field that ball and come to me, but he just got kind of blocked out by the runner and, and couldn't see the ball to the last second and then decided just to get the out. Um, I, I couldn't quite get a sense for the air quality there. Just how was it? I know it's surrounded by fires, but San Francisco is kind of on a peninsula. What was your experience? Uh, I was fine. Uh, honestly, I didn't even notice it at all today or tonight. Um, Notice it more in the hotel, actually. Uh, you kind of smell it walking around the hallways. Um, but uh, once we got to the field, uh, it was never an issue. That's good. Thank you, Justin. More questions for JT?
Steve Roberts now available. Dave, this one seemed to have a little bit of everything. Um, what's your takeaway of the last couple of innings? You know, the base running that Justin Turner was able to do in terms of making things happen, but also just how this one unfolded there at the end. Um, yeah, Justin. Justin did. He had a great night. Um, played both sides of the baseball, ran the bases, um, at bats, really good. Didn't give away any at bats. Um, it, this is just. Um, it just wasn't a well-played game for us. Um, we just didn't do a lot of things right, um, which kept those guys in the ball game and um, they found a way to uh, walk us off. What did you think in terms of you didn't do things right? What would you have Oh, liked? just there's a lot of things, a lot of that um, defensively, giving some bats away, um, some things with the pitching side, we just, we could have done a lot better. What's your takeaway from the overall work today from Julio Arias in the four plus? Um, it was okay. It was okay. Um, I thought um, I liked the way he came out aggressive. Um, you know, the command we're still trying to harness, but his aggressiveness, I love to try to, you know, wanted him to get through that fifth inning. Um, but gives up a hard base hit to Longo and then the double by belt. And, and so, uh, you know, right there, I just felt that we had to give these guys a different look, but um, you know, there were some good throws in there. What made tonight in particular Longoria and belt at bat so difficult, such a difficult out. It almost seemed like it was those two guys from several years ago. I just don't think that we made good pitches, um, you know, in certain cases we had count leverage and, and didn't put them away. Thank you, Dave. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Dave, uh, going back to the fielding, um, is it just mental miscues really more rather than physical? Just, it just wasn't a clean game. That's all. It wasn't a clean game. Yeah. Um, are these games tough to manage when you're not quite sure when it's going to end? You know, the pitchers all have to face three batters and there's just a lot of kind of only in 2020 stuff uh, in place. Um, you know, I, I just think it's, you know, there's a lot of, you have a lot of pitchers at your disposal. Um, these guys are aggressive deploying guys. So, you know, you're not always getting the optimal matchup on the offensive side. So, uh, but, but it, the three batter minimum, it, it's, not that big of a deal. It's just more of, you know, for the hitters, you just don't get that familiarity with those guys from the pen. Yeah. And, you know, Santana did something that no pitcher's done in a while. He got Brandon Belt out. Um, well, what was your read on him in that inning? And then I, I think that was a changeup that uh, Solano hit the home run on. Uh, I think it was a 2-1 slider. Okay. He just uh, left it, left it middle, middle. Thanks, Dave. Yep. Yeah. Dave, uh, I know Muncie stayed in after the sixth inning, but that play at first base when he was, I guess, kind of hit by the runner or a little bit, what, what, what was hurt there? Like his elbow or, uh, or was it? His elbow hyperextended a little bit. Uh, the throw took him into the runner and, uh, you know, hit, the, hit, the, hit his glove, his wrist, his arm, and then the elbow hyperextended a little bit. But uh, Max assured us that he was fine to stay in the game. Thanks. Yep. Thanks, guys.